So I feel like my project somewhat was like underwhelming for this tour because I didn't get a lot of information about like recent Academy news. But I also felt like it was good because I gave like the, the uh, background of the Academy and the Air Force. So I felt like the people who wanted to know more, who like came along and actually listened, got to know more. Especially with the um, like the c traditions of the uh, upper class cadets for like in the juniors and just like basic uh, cadet life on the campus and the academy. It's definitely interesting. And I'd say I tell people to uh, definitely think about it if they're interested. After researching this place, originally I just thought that it was a bunch of cool looking rocks. And while, I mean, the rocks do look cool, there is like a really big history behind all of it that, I mean, I didn't know at first. And I, it was really interesting after I researched all of it. I'm glad we got to come out here to see this in person because, I mean, the pictures look really nice, but in person it's just completely different. You can see the balanced rock back there. And that's way bigger than I thought it was, but, I mean... Yeah, it's just mind-blowing how all this formed. Here at Red Rocks Amphitheater, and this is like I was researching this and looking around, um, and I already knew it was going to be a great location, but now that we're here, I can just see it's just a lot better than I, I even expected. Um, the views are just crazy, uh, nothing that we've seen, I've seen before. Just the vista and like the amphitheater itself and the rocks, it's just really amazing. Um, I'm really glad I chose this topic, and I think it looks really cool. Okay, so we're here in Flux Glassworks and I'm really excited to be here because I did all of this research and I finally get to see the process in real time, in real life. It was really interesting to see just the demonstrations and how all of this research that I did, it was actually being shown in real life. and. The tools and the furnace and the kiln and everything else and the colors was just super awesome to see. So for my topic I decided to do the Pikes Peak Gold Rush or the Gold Rush of 1859 and uh, here we got to explore the mines uh, of the gold rush. I feel like it was a really interesting experience, you know, getting to actually mine for gold, getting to see what the miners' lives were like, getting to see uh, just the scope of uh, everything. Uh, seeing the extraction methods uh, and also how short the mines were was really a cool experience and I absolutely loved it and would do it again. from the Molly Brown House that it's important to take care of others and that uh, doing something little can affect millions of people's people and can help shape someone's life that you didn't know was possible. Hey, what's going on everybody? My project was the Rossonian in the surrounding Five Points neighborhood. Um, to be honest, the tour was kind of underwhelming for me, but 
it did show a lot of great values within the city of Denver. It showed some of the fights for equality that our tour guide was willing to show us. She was grew up in the neighborhood and was stationed around there, or well, lived around there, I should say. So it was pretty great. Wolf was probably the craziest but most wonderful experience of my entire life possibly like going there was crazy after looking at pictures of it for so many months and then actually being there it was a totally completely different experience but it was absolutely amazing and incredible and I loved it <laughs> So my topic was about the history of trains and the Transcontinental Railroad and I mainly researched that with a little bit of background about the actual depot museum but I had no idea that the museum had so much information about the railroads and how it came together and the architecture is so interesting and the model it took up an entire room which I thought was so crazy um, I'd seen pictures online but I had no idea about how detailed everything was and I was very very pleased with this experience I did the Wyoming Territorial Prison, and it it was really refreshing to know that my information was right and that I didn't just make up stuff, because some of the sources were kind of sketchy, I still used them anyways, and it was nice to see how realistic and interesting it was. <laughs> I thought the Z-Bar was cool, and I liked that they trapped um, the people in the cell, I thought it was pretty cool. And I didn't realize there were North and South Blocks, and yeah, I didn't know South Blocks were for more troubled prisoners. Yeah. Opening two and three. See now, the prisoners can push the doors open from the inside and step out. Perfect, let's give them a round of applause. My topic was Fort Laramie. Through studying Fort Laramie, I learned a lot about its history. You think a lot more than because of the internet, but going there taught me so much more than I could have ever learned through documents and just anything on the internet. Our guide was so very insightful and t taught us so much more. And get to see, getting to see those buildings, the buildings that are original, was just one of the coolest things I've done in a long time. So when I was, I remember like when I was researching or getting my topic, I was like horses. Well, I mean like it's just horses. So I just started researching, and then like I remember while I was at home, and I was starting to research this like all these information. And I was like, wow, horses has a lot of like importance. I have a lot of history, and then like I've been waiting to go to Wind River Wild Horse Sanctuary. So when like when we actually got here, so we got into what would I call this? Um, 
kind of like a golf cart and it has like a wagon and then we'll go around and see all the horses and then Jess Oldham he's a really good guy and he will talk about all the history and then just about like he was a really funny guy and it was like just so fun and just like seeing all the horses just running around just makes me like wow like horse like horses like they also like suffered a lot because of the issue like the increased population how it's damaged the environment the ecosystem and so it's like kind of sad now like now they're like right in front of me like i, I feel so sad for them it's like they're all like but um horses i feel like i i had like after doing this project i like um i got like a better understanding of horses and it's really cool I had the Grand Tetons and getting to visit the general area where Gabby Petito's case originated from was very interesting just to know that there were tons of bodies found in that area um, and the scenery was very interesting to why and how long it took them to find the body since there is a lot of um, terrain that they had to like tread through. Um, overall it was really cool. <laughs> Alright, um, the main thing I'd say that um, I've taken away from here, enjoyed from here, is um, that we get to see all this, like, all this strange, wonderful stuff, and that it's, like, it's huge, a lot of it, um, and yet it's, like, only, like, a small iota of the volcano and its fuel and its power for this place. And it's really cool to see how just like this one thing can, um, like those, like those green, um, bacterias and those orange bacterias on those rocks, those only exist because the volcano is here. And I think it's just really interesting to see all this stuff, uh, powered by the thing that I researched. Um, and I'd say that's like the main thing that I've taken away from being here or enjoyed about being here. After having done so much research on Asian um, anti-Asian discrimination and Japanese internment, it meant so much to come here due to the fact that I was able to put myself in the shoes of the people who might have been imprisoned here during the time. And being able to see the artifacts of their life and how they might have lived um, helped put me even more in that perspective and give it all so much more meaning.
Okay, so my topic was rodeos, and we just came back from the Cody Rodeo, which I personally thought was really fun. Um, it was pretty close to what I was expecting. There's a little bit more, like, theatrics with the clowns and stuff, but, like, it makes sense because they were setting up for other things. Um, I thought it was really cool just to see, like, a different type of sport that we don't really get experience, like, back at home. I'm um, just seeing them, like, riding the bulls, and I also thought it was very interesting, um, the young age that was also doing all the different events. But um, overall, I thought it was a very fun and experience that just isn't something we'd be able to do at home. My topic was in steamboats in Yellowstone and Cincinnati, and it's just really cool to be here in Yellowstone, and you could see the island where the um, ship that I did my report on sunk. And Yellowstone has honestly been one of the coolest places I've ever been in my life. It's just really beautiful, and the scenery is just awesome. So I did my research on fungi in Yellowstone National Park and you know just seeing all the them popping up even if it's been really cold here is just really cool. Like we've already seen at least three different types of fungi while we're here and it's like it's so cool to see the biodiversity that we can see just on the edges of the forest. I studied the impact of art to the creation of Yellowstone National Park and being here uh, kind of pointed out a lot of the things that I found in my research. Like when we went to the Grand Tetons, I knew that Thomas Moran and William Henry Jackson were popular, but I didn't realize like just how popular they were until like we saw Mount Moran and the town of Moran, and Moran Junction, and Moran Post Office. <laughs> and it really just brought up just how impactful they were on the people around them. And then being here at Artist Point uh, is also like, it, it showed me a lot about Moran's big picture landscape, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Uh, and I can kind of see where certain elements in the painting came from. Like, uh, over there somewhere, I saw these spires of yellow rock, which reminded me of one of the details that I saw in his painting. And I can definitely see, like, the perspective that he had, probably standing here. And I think that that's really cool. <laughs> So I did the Wagon Wheel Project. Uh, it was just a government program designed to extract natural gas using nuclear warheads. Um, uh, on the trip, we obviously we didn't get a specific location for me to go to for that topic just because of it's basically just we would have been going to an open field. But uh, I did see notably a lot of uh, other natural gas and oil wells as we were driving through you know wyoming and stuff notably not using nuclear warheads to harvest that gas uh i would imagine that they're using hydraulics which i talked about in my presentation as well and it was just kind of interesting to see the the concept of my topic uh presented to me throughout basically the whole state few times and I really paid attention this time because <laughs> let me tell you it was insane and I talked my mom's ear off about it because 
I feel like no one realizes like the potential that mushrooms have like for our future and even like what they're doing right now in our world. And it was just like really cool to like finally see that for to finally process in my mind. I would say, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw you chose mushrooms, I was kind of like, okay, like it's just mushrooms. But like your presentation ended up being like one of my thought like the most interesting because it's like you see them every day. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you're, they're always around. And I really like taking pictures of them. They're there. I feel like just kind of in general, <coughs> while we were out there, you see paintings and pictures and all that kind of stuff of Outlast all the time. And I don't know about anybody else, but I always thought like the paintings and stuff, they were so beautiful, someone had to have taken some sort of artistic liberty. And you go out there, and it's just like, oh no, that's just what the painting looked like, or that kind of thing. And it was kind of shocking to see how little artistic liberties had been taken. I was kind of what you were saying, like whenever we were in the car rides and stuff, like whenever there was like no service, it didn't even bother me as much yeah. as it like normally would have, because there was just so much stuff to look at outside. Like I would like normally I may, may have been like annoyed or something I couldn't do anything, but I was just looking out the windows for like hours and hours. And that was awful. I liked about riding in the car with Logan. Every time we went by, I said, "Ooh!" <laughs> 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 <laughs>